Hello. Today we're going to work on problems that deal with the order of operations. And the order of operations are a way to stay organized and complete problems doing um, individual steps in a certain order to come out with a correct answer. Um, we like to use the saying P-E-M-D-A-S, also known as please excuse my dear Aunt Sally as a way to remember the order to solve order of operations problems. The P stands for parentheses. So the first thing we will do is work anything that's inside parentheses. Next, we will complete any step that contains exponents, such as 2 squared or 3 squared, etc. Next, we work with M stands for multiplication and D stands for division. Now this is very important. It's a very important step in that anytime you are down to multiplication and division, you don't necessarily have to do the M, the multiplication, before the division. We actually work them in order from left to right. So these steps are actually interchangeable from left to right. The last two steps involve A and S. Addition stands for A and S stands for subtraction. We actually do these the same way we did M and D. They are also interchangeable from left to right. So sometimes there will be a subtraction before we do an actual um, addition problem. Now I want to um, try to do three different examples to show the different steps. Now, <clears throat> I'll tell you that the most important thing in solving these problems, especially when you have over two, let's say up to five different operations you're going to do, you have to stay organized in any steps that you do mentally, make sure you bring down on paper as you go. So the first thing we're going to look at in this problem, 5 plus 32 divided by 4 times 3 minus 2 is, ask ourselves, what comes first? I don't see any parentheses. I do not see any exponents in this problem. So once I get down to multiplication and division, I'm looking for the one that's farthest left. In this case, it's 32 divided by 4. So 32 divided by 4 is 8. I'm going to bring down everything else around it. And now look for my second step. I have addition, multiplication, and subtraction. I've got to go back to multiplication because it comes before addition and subtraction. And I'm going to do the 8 times 3. 8 times 3 is 24. I'm going to bring down everything around it. And now I'm down to two operations, addition and subtraction. These are interchangeable from left to right. So I'm going to do the addition before the subtraction. 5 plus 24 is 29. And then 29 minus 22 would be 27 would be our final answer here. Okay, moving on to example two. Now I've got a situation where I have parentheses. It's very important when you have multiple operations within parentheses that you continue to use the same order. I have to decide, am I going to do the multiplication or the subtraction within parentheses? M comes before S, so I'm going to do the multiplication first. So 3 times 2 is 6. I'm going to pull 1 away from that, and that becomes 5. I'm going to bring down everything around it for my next step. Now for my next step, I have addition, multiplication, and subtraction. Multiplication would be my, my next um, thing that I do in the order because it comes before addition or subtraction. So I'm going to do 5 times 4, which is 20. Bring down the 6 around it. Bring down the minus 8. Now I've got addition and subtraction left. I'm going to work it from left to right. In this case, I'm going to do 6 plus 20. 6 plus 20 is 26. Bring down the minus 8. And for my final step, I'm going to take 26 minus 8, giving me a final answer of Last example I want to do, I've got parentheses and I have exponents along with a division and a subtraction. 
follow in the correct order, I'm going to do parentheses first. So 9 times 2 is 18. Bring down everything else around it. I've got an exponent. I've got addition. I've got um, division and subtraction. So what, what I would do in the next um, step here, I would do exponents. 3 squared means 3 times 3. So I'm going to write that down, and that's going to be 9. Bring down everything else. Now I've got addition, division, subtraction. In the order of operations, D, division, comes before A or S, addition and subtraction. So I must do the division first. 18 divided by 3 is 6. Bring down the other operations. Now I have 9 plus 6 minus 12. Last two things I need to do is work these from left to right as addition comes before subtraction in being from left to right. 9 plus 6 is 15. And 15 minus 12 equals 3. As a recap, the most important thing in order of operations is to consistently follow this order. And when you get down to multiplication and division and addition and subtraction, you must make sure that you're working those from left to right as they are interchangeable when you're down to just those operations.